all right what is up guys welcome back to another new video today guys you're here in monster park it's a theme park here on roblox themed to classic monsters it also has a few other horror ips but yeah it's a really awesome theme park here on roblox it also has a bunch of really cool rides here as well anyways in this video we're going to be starting our monster park series on the channel by giving us a full tour here in monster park in 2022 so actually a few things before we start the video. So the other day it was announced that Within Devil, the owner of the park, is actually going to be stepping down, and Diapas, the owner of Movie Park, is going to be coming the is going to become the new owner. And this actually version of Monster Park is going to be closing forever soon, and it's going to be moved over to Movie Park. So actually we're going to be doing two series on the channel. The first one is going to be doing of this version of Monster Park. So you know we'll give you guys a tour here now of this Monster Park. We're going to give you these guys non-ride POV of all the rides in this version of Monster Park. And then once the Monster Park and Movie Park opens up, we'll do a new series on the channel. We'll give you guys a tour of that one, as well as give you guys a, we'll go show you guys videos of all the rides in that one. But yeah, anyways, a few other things. So actually, I don't have all my graphics up, and the reason is because I'm on mobile, and if, and and if you have the, all your graphics all the way up on mobile, you lag a lot. So, and you know, I don't want the whole video to be to be me lagging a ton. So, so I might. So I'm not gonna be having my. I mean, I'm not gonna be having my graphics all the way up in this video. But yeah. Anyways, the the reason also too the reason why you guys don't hear any music or sound is so you guys can hear me perfectly well, perfectly well. Before we start to make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe and turn on post notifications if you haven't already. But yeah, let's get going. So right off the bat, as you guys can see, we have this really cool entrance here of the park. You got a gargoyle looks up here as well. Gargoyle looks like up here as well as you got chains here too, which is pretty cool. And then we enter into this entrance area, which is the plaza, which I believe is sort of based off of like the sort of like the vill no not the plaza the village, which is sort of like an like an old tiny like village you would see in like Universal Monsters movie, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So you guys, see, they actually added this recently. They actually they replaced the old entrance area, and I gotta say it's a really nice area. As you guys see too, we got this pretty cool gargoyle over here. We have this store called the Special Events and Attraction Store. You have this thing over here. But yeah, let's go inside of this. So as you guys can see here, we got a we got a shirt here from Monster Match. It's actually the Halloween event here in the park. As you guys see here, we got the Saw section. They actually have a Saw the Ride here. It's a full recreation of the Saw the Ride at Thorpe Park. It's a really good recreation. Here we have the Ghostbuster section, as they have a Ghostbusters land, which you guys can actually see. It's right over there. They have a Ghostbusters coaster too here. It's called the Ghost Coaster. It's really cool. So you guys, you got the classic monster section here. And then, as you guys can see, we got the Monster Mat section. Kind of, kind of looks like a um, a um, pumpkin pat, pumpkin patch. And you also have these things here too. They're actually called um pins they, they're basically like emblems sort of like how usr has it but yeah it's pretty cool but yeah you guys you got some banners here too which is pretty cool continuing on as you guys see we actually have this store over here i believe this one is the legacy hang on actually let me find the entrance to it actually let's go down here you guys see we got some pictures of classic monsters in the wall like the mummy we also have some food cart food stands here for some decorations you have some barrels you also have a picture here of I think that's the Invisible Man. You also have Wolf Man. As you guys can see, we got the directory here. It says Backlot Access, Ghost Coaster, the Wolf Man Coaster, Saw the Ride, and the Creatures Rapids. As you guys see too, we have the Monster Park sign here, as well as you got another little food stand here. As well as we actually have over here, this is actually the, the entrance here for their, sh this is actually the little viewing area for their show called Marathon of Mayhem. It actually happens every night. It's a really cool water show. It's based off of the Universal Monsters segment and i believe in the hhn 29 universal in the hhn 29 marathon and May mayhem show it's a really cool show as you guys can see continuing on as you guys see, we actually have a few drink stands where you can actually get some drinks and the drinks you can get here are let's see you can get Dra dracula's blood the it's alive drink mommy sarsaparilla and swamp juice which is pretty cool as you guys see this is we have the film vault shop here which is pretty cool as you guys see got some merch here well some paintings here I have some classic monsters such as Dracula, Frankenstein, um, Wolfman, and the creature, the Gilman, or the creature of the Black Lagoon. You also have some film tanks here from classic monsters movies. You also have a statue here of Slimer as well as a um, film tape here, which is also pretty cool. You actually have, you also have a bust here too, as well as some more film tapes, which is also again pretty cool. Continuing on over here, as you guys see, we actually have the horror makeup show. So actually, they were planning at first. They were planning on making the show. I don't think it's. Not sure if it's still happening at this point. Probably not. But yeah, they're planning on making the show from Universe Orlando. And they're actually, the other day, they opened up the lobby for the show. It's actually really cool. I'll actually have a full tour of this probably later today in the channel. But yeah, yeah, it's really cool. 
We have the Lobby Joy Cologne. But yeah, I don't know. But again, I don't think the show, the actual show club is ever going to open up. But we'll see. You guys see tier 2, we have a skeleton here, which is also pretty cool. Got some more cards and that stuff. Oh yeah, we also have some more classic monsters. You got Frankenstein. Um, uh, Invisible Man. You also got the Wolf Man here too. Now over here, oops, didn't mean to sit on that bench. Over here, as you guys see, we got the other store here, which is the, I believe, the Legacy Store. Hang on. I know there's another store here. Let me just find the um, entry. All right, here we go. Here's the Legacy Store. As you guys can see here, we have a Frankenstein bust with a poster for the movie there. You also have this spinning wheel here, which is pretty cool. We have the Dracula section with the Dracula poster, as well as the Dracula coffin. And over here, as you guys can see, you got the Wolfman section here, which is pretty cool. And then you have the mummy section. You got some, you got some like tombs or whatever they're called. I forgot what they're called. You also got the book here, which is actually from the Rhine. If you actually press, you have a little like smoke that that shoots out here, which is also pretty cool. But yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much it here for like the legacy store. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So moving on here, that's pretty much it here for the um the village area. Moving on here, enter into the new Ghostbusters section. This is really isn't that big, but it's actually used for one thing: the Ghost Coast version gets to in the second. Here you guys, you got this little story. So some merch here, which is pretty cool. Here you guys see here we have the Exit Chapter Ghost Coaster. You got some Ghostbusters merch as well as the Ghost Coaster poster here, which is pretty cool. And you guys see we got the Ghostbusters trail. They actually sell trails sort of like how USR has it. You also have this phone booth here for deck for, as a prop. You also have this um, mailbox here as well as this um act. You have the Acto One here, which is pretty cool. It actually has the siren too. And here we have the Ghost Coaster. This is a really awesome indoor, really cool indoor coaster. It's basically sort of like Rock and Roller Coaster, but not really. But yeah, it's an indoor coaster themed to Ghostbusters. It's a really awesome coaster. We'll have a POV of this up too on the channel. Menu. Also, it was announced yesterday that when Ghostbusters, Ghost Coast, I mean when Movie Park, not Movie Park, when Monster Park is added to Movie Park, Ghost Coaster unfortunately won't be added, which sucks, but oh well. So continuing on here, we actually we enter into our next line here, which is the Frankenstein land. Again, not really big. As you guys see, you got a bunch of these these fruit stands over here. As you guys see, this is not, I don't think this is ever going to happen. This is not open yet, too, either. But over there, it used to be used as a coaster in the Lab Escape. It was, a I believe, an Intimate Coaster, an Intimate Frankenstein Coaster. It was pretty cool. Now, a while ago, they were actually planning on refurbishing it. And now, I don't think, and now, again, I'm not sure if they will with Monster Park being changed over to being... Moving over to movie park, but yeah, as you guys see here, you got the pretty cool castle. Can't go inside of here, but you got Frankenstein's castle here, which is pretty cool. You also got a Frankenstein merch card over here too, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, here's the entrance here. You guys see it's blocked off, but yeah, pretty cool. So moving on to our next line, you got oh yeah, also here too we have the Bride of Frankenstein lives. This is actually really awesome. It's a full maze recreation of the maze that was at HHN last year as well as was Rob for like when they did added a few mazes during HHN when they canceled it in 2020. But yeah, it's a really awesome recreation of that maze. Again, too, we'll have a POV of that up eventually too on the channel. Moving on, we enter into our next one, which is the small creature from the Black Lagoon line. As you guys see, this isn't used for anything here. But yeah, as you guys see here, we actually have the entrance. This leads you to Creature's Plunge. Now, this is actually a river raft ride. Um, It's sort of like Popeye and Boodles or Kali River Rapids at Universal. And say the same to the creature from the Black Lagoon. It's a fun ride. I see we got a bunch of these little facade buildings here, which is cool. They aren't used for anything, but still cool. I see we got the Black Lagoon Monster Trail, which is also cool. You have another one of these drink stands, as well as some more little facades. I really wish they were used for some stuff, but yeah. Next we enter this, but oh yeah, also we have the Showtime Morning for Marathon of Mayhem. So here are the Showtimes. You have 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 well, This is actually, believe in my, never mind, this is East EST. You got 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and midnight. But yeah, and then you guys see actually this leads you to the engine here for Saw the Ride. Now, like I mentioned in the Saw section of the store, this is a full recreation of the Saw the Ride coaster at Thorpe Park. It's a really awesome recreation. Probably my second favorite coaster here in Monster Arc. But yeah, it's really good. Moving on. Oh yeah, also here too, you have the Saw Trail as well, which is pretty cool. Moving on to our next one, we have Dra we have the Dracula section. So actually when the park first opened up, I believe there used there actually used to be a Dracula ride. I believe it used to be a coaster. But actually, for a while now, it's been closed, and they were planning on refurbishing it and making it into a dark ride. With the devil, actually, was said it was he at first he had plans to make it like haunted mansion, but now, like I mentioned, I'm not sure if it's gonna be happening at this point. Is again, Monster Park is being moved over to Movie Park. But yeah, as you guys see, you got the really awesome entrance here. You got Dracula's Castle over here. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Moving on to over here, you guys see, you got another one of these drink stands. You have some more little yeah, this little cart, Dracula card here, as well as the Dracula Trail. 
Now we head into our next stand here, which is the small little Wolfman stand here. As you guys can see, we have the um, little cart here. And here we have the entrance here to the Wolfman. Now, this is a really awesome Intamin coaster. I think it actually might be an Intamin Blitz. I'm not sure. But, yeah, it's a really awesome Intamin coaster. It's definitely one, probably my third favorite coaster here in the park, to be honest. No, actually, probably my second favorite. I say it's Saw. It's probably my third. But, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a really amazing coaster. It has, it even has a top head. It's an awesome ride. It's definitely one of the best rides here in Monster Park. As you guys see, you got another one of these Marathon and Mayhem Showtime boards. As you guys see here, too, we got one of the inversions here for the ride. And this is actually, we're not going to go here, but this actually leads you to the back lot. This is basically sort of, you know, like basically USR has this. They have the backstage. Here in Monster Park, they have the same thing, too. They actually have to have a gate pass as well for this. I'm not sure if they have a lot of filming. They do. Maybe we'll do a tour. I'm not sure. And as you guys see here, too, we got this really small merch stand here. We got a few merch here for the Wolfman. Let's see if I can get out of here. There we go. And now we move into our last land here in Monster Park. Oh, yeah, we have another one of these directories here. As you guys see, you got Backlot Access, The Monsters Escape, Wolfman Coaster, Saw the Ride, and The Creatures Rapid. The, the Creatures Rapid. So now we enter into our final land here, which is the Mummy area. As you guys see, we got the Mummy the Ride. So as you guys see, it's basically the exact same entrance as the Revenge of the Mummy at Universal Orlando. So at first, they're actually, again, like I mentioned, planning on making... The, the mummy ride at first i don't think it was gonna be a recreation of revenge of the mummy it was just gonna be a different mummy ride but like i did mention again i'm not sure if it's still gonna be happening at this point as again monster park is being moved over to movie park we'll see but yeah as you guys see on the wall here too we got construction walls up here just like in universal orlando the moment of course it's being refurbished at um universal orlando and then as you guys can see over here we have this mummy here like, like just like how they have in universal orlando here this blood covered already also you have this so it kind of looks like the Sahara Trader store. I think it's supposed to be like that at Universal Orlando. But yeah. So that pretty much wraps this this full tour up, I think, here at Monster Park. Here, this full tour here at Monster Park here, here in 2022. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full tour of Monster Park. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. So goodbye, guys.